everyone, it's me, the Auntie Beauty Queen, and today's video, oh my god, <laughs> I have not done a what is in my bag video for I don't even know how long. Honestly, do people even still make these kind of videos? I really hope they do because back in the day, and when the OGs of YouTube used to do these what is in my purse, bag, suitcase, whatever, I used to be obsessed with watching those kind of videos. But my taste has changed. My packing ability still sucks. But I thought I would do a what's in my work bag because this isn't my purse, it's my work bag. And it's just kind of like neat to see what I keep for work when I want to be productive, which is never, but I thought I would go ahead and show you what I keep when I go to the office and what keeps me sane. All right, so first things first, this is just a standard Michael Kors tote. I got it for Christmas. I absolutely love it. It is so durable. Oh my God. If you are someone who really just does not want to spend money on a good bag, Please just realize that if you are hard on your stuff, spending just a little bit more money, and I did not spend a lot of this, well, A, I got it for a, from a gift, but my, I know that my mom did not spend a lot on this. She got it at like a freak sale. Um, but this bag is so durable. I scratch it all the time and it doesn't ever leave like a permanent scratch. Um, I spill stuff on this. Like, honestly, I'm a slob. So this bag just has worked wonders. But it's just a classic black Michael Kors tote. And I'm not even gonna at all hold this for the video because I don't have muscle mass. Um, and I'm just gonna set it in my knit little table here and I'm just gonna kind of like I'm just gonna put my hand in the bag and pull stuff out uh, first things first oh my god and things are already dropping first things first <laughs> I don't typically have this in my bag I just have had it for the past couple of weeks though because us Canadians we do not know what the weather is going to be like so one minute it can be really, really hot out, the next it could be freezing, the next could be snowing, the next could be raining. It's, it's just too much. So I keep this because our office can get quite cold and it's just a shawl. It's just like one of those like poncho thingies. Looks like I'm getting my hair cut. Um, but I got it at our dens and it keeps me warm. And really, it's just in there because it's kind of like my security blanket. I've had this now for like three years and like, Honestly, it just makes me feel warm and cozy. Where the hell am I going to put all this stuff? Okay, that's just going to have to go right there. So I'll pick up the thing that I dropped, which, funny enough, hello, oh, head rush, is this Honolulu Sun car freshener. I threw this in my bag because Sugar Bear drops me off at work because he works a lot farther away, and so he just drops me off and he takes the car, but he is a smelly piggy and sometimes the car reeks of him because he's a chef so sometimes you get you know the onion smell the garlic smell the lemon smell sometimes it's just a whole mess in that car so I was meaning to put this in our air freshener but I obviously forgot so that'll just go up there and uh the next oh my god it's, I'm so embarrassed um the next thing is just my coach wallet clearly I'm not gonna go in my wallet because <laughs> I don't want no strangers appearing at my door but no it's just my coach wallet and my plan Planner, which I love. This is my year planner. Um, I got it at like Kohl's. Do you have that in the States? Uh, Kohl's, which is just our bookstore. How much did I spend on this? I think like 17 bucks. It's from Bandu, which always puts out the most amazing planners every single year. This one though, it's just like in this really tropical floral pattern. I love it. Every time I go to put something down, um, I just feel like I'm not at work. <laughs> I'm somewhere tropical. But what I like about it, okay, this is really cute and juvenile, but I don't even care. I am on board. It is stickers that you can put on your calendar, uh, and there's like payday with a big old check. I haven't got uh, a good payday in a while, so I have not used that sticker. Um, there's a laundry with a little pair of panties. You're a total champ, which hello, yes I am. But I have used a few of these stickers. I fully intend on using the airplane when I go on my trip, so that's a thing. Um, and then I have my iPad. 
Now, my iPad I take to work every single day because it has a lot of my information. I have my work calendar on here because when I go at home, I really just don't want them to like update the calendar, my phone go off, I get annoyed. Ugh. So I put everything on my iPad. This is just the Apple Air 2. It's the white one and this case I actually really love. It is a Kate Spade case that I got at Winners. So no, I did not spend what they would probably price this as but I do love it because it's so durable and honestly I am horrible with my devices I just like throw it in there and call it a day so it has taken a lot of beating and I like it because it's pink on the inside and this like nice little felt color um I'm not going to show you my iPad <laughs> picture because it's actually um Sugar Bear his dad and his uncle uh, on my home screen so for privacy sakes I just don't want to show it but uh the Kate Spade little emblem is on there and this is always in my work bag the next thing you gotta have it, especially if you hate your coworkers. Um, I don't hate my coworkers, I'm lying. But, I mean, if you have to work with people every single day and you got a headache, you can use these guys. Uh, this is just an Equate brand. I think that's like Walmart cheap brand. And it is ibuprofen. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I have two friggin'... Oh my, is there anything even in here? No, I have two Firmu glasses cases. Jesus. Now, um, I talk about Firmu all the time. It's a really great brand, but I have two of their cases in here. Oh, in this one, I have a thingy because I always, I mean, they're sitting right here. I have my glasses with me every single day. So, of course, they're going to get gross and smudgy. So, I have a little uh, cloth in this one, apparently. And for this one, I have, oh. I have the nifty little uh, baggie that they always send with their glasses. This I love though because it has two nose bridge pieces in case one of your bridges of your nose glasses fall off. Um, a screwdriver and extra screws. I guess I do not need to put both of these back in there, but they're in there. Speaking of glasses, I also have, oh my gosh, they're dusty, my sunglasses in here. These are Ray-Bans and they are prescription. I guess they can't put like the sticker on glasses if they're prescription, like sunglasses, but I don't care. Um, but I got these when it was like a two for one at my eyeglass place. So I actually got two pairs of sunglasses. These ones though, I just use all the time. They remind me of Tom Cruise and Risky Business. So Risky Business or Air top air or air top what the hell is that movie where he's a pilot air gut top air t mm, i don't know but they just remind me of like the 80s i really like them throw them in there now the one thing that i don't have in my bag right now but it's always in my bag is just my take ya bottle it doesn't have the cap on it right now because i just literally got it from the sink this is always with me though i bring this to work every single day because mama gets thirsty and i need to stay hydrated i actually featured this though in my april favorites video so i will put that right there oh my god i am a slob i really am i have like trash at the bottom of my bag. I have Lip Medics, Blistex. I swear by this stuff. I have like 50 of these all around my house. Constantly am someone who is putting on lip chap all the time. My office is very, very dry, so my lips get chapped, especially in the fall and winter. And clearly I have not removed anything from my bag since then so this is in there but i'll probably keep it in my bag all year round anyway i have this cheap dollar store whiteout like the pen i make mistakes all the time and no i don't use computers for everything people who've been born in the 2000s no i'm from 86 so we still do things old school like writing and screwing up and we can't delete it so we have to use whiteout so it's in my bag and these are in my bag and i don't really like them sugar bear does though so i'm not entirely sure why i just haven't given these yet but whatever they're the icebreakers cool blast 24 hour spearmint shoes and this always like screws me over like i there's like a way to oh see like it's like a little tray <clears throat> but i never do that i just like open them and they fly all over but I find that these are incredibly spicy like obviously they're supposed to be cooling they're supposed to kind of like you know but it says right on the package like don't eat more than one at a time because it'll burn your friggin mouth 
So I'm not a big fan, but they're in there. Um, and the last couple things, I have a pen. Can never go anywhere without a pen. A iPhone or an iPad charger. Don't have the cord, just have the thing. Um, and then I have this guy, my hand sanitizer. I never leave home without it. But I don't have it on the bag just because I am afraid that it could leak and get all over it. But it's like the cute little like springy little sparkly one. And then the scent is champagne sparkle. Uh, I'll probably change my bag to like the hula girl one soon. But I always go in here because people are nasty and sometimes they don't wash their hands. And if I have to shake hands with people, <laughs> I'm not going to be eating my lunch afterwards without it. And because I'm a fat kid, the last thing in my bag are these Ritz sandwich crackers. No shame. No shame at all. I have these in here because literally I'm hungry all the time. And we have a really great kitchen at our office. And we have people that bring food in for people all the time. Like constantly there's ice cream, constantly there's like donuts, whatever. But sometimes you just don't want to even get up from your chair. So I have this in my bag or sometimes if I'm just running around and I want to eat something, I eat these. All right, that is it. That is what's in my bag. The only thing that I didn't show is my cell phone, but that's pretty self-explanatory. It's with me constantly anyway, but that is what I carry every single day at work. No wonder I have back problems because my boobs are too big and my bag is also too heavy. But if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more like what's in my car, what's in my bag, what's in my suitcase, I will be going on a trip shortly in like five months, but still one can dream that it'll happen sooner than later. Um, but if you want to see kind of like my packing and how I do all that jazz, then let me know in the comments below because I love coming up with new video ideas for you so you don't get bored of me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and also make sure to click that notification button, it's the bell, and it'll let you know every single time I upload a new video. If you want to follow me all over the Instagram, the Twitter, and the Tumblr, uh, you can follow me there. My username is AntiBeautyQueen the same way it's spelled right on this channel. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye!